now we are going to do checking subtraction with addition so first we are going to subtract then we are going to add okay so first question it is also three digit number hundreds tens and ones two seven nine two hundred and seventy nine one two three one hundred and twenty three so both are three digit number so now we are going to subtract so nine minus three so what you're going to do nine is a greater number and three is a smaller number now you can what subtract no issues so it's nine okay nine so nine minus three so after three you have to write four five six seven eight nine so what is the number six you have to write six here so seven minus two after two so seven is a greater number and two is a smaller number first i've complete the ones now i'm going to subtract with tens tens place value so what are the numbers in tens place seven and two seven is a greater number and two is a smaller number so after two you have to start doing backward counting that is three four five six seven so what is the number five okay write five and two minus one you know that very well one is the answer so you are going to write that is the same number answer is one five six now you write okay now you write this so okay the answer you have to write on the top then the second number you have to write it as it is then you have to add if you get the question that is 270 the answer is right so this is what checking subtraction with addition first you have to subtract and what you're going to do whether the subtraction answer whatever the answer you got it that answer it is whether the answer is right or wrong means you have to do the addition method that is what checking subtraction with addition method so so answer i've written on the top first i have written the top that is the first number and second number as it is i have written the second number so if you get the question you can get the if you get the question your whatever the answer you find out is exactly right now i'm going to add 6 plus 3 so after 6 7 8 and 9 so you have to write 9 then 5 in the mind and 2 in the finger after 5 what now ones is over now i'm going to add with tens so five in the mind two in the finger after five six seven you have to write seven here okay then hundreds one plus one two so you can get the question that means the answer 156 here also 100 the answer is exactly right what is the answer for the question 156 this is the right answer for the question and also checking subtraction with addition method is over for the first sum so i think so now you understand this checking subtraction with addition first you have done the subtraction then you have to what write the answer as it is on the top then you have to write the second number then you can add both numbers if you get the question now the answer is exactly correct that is what checking subtraction with addition method now you are going to do the second sum that is ones place what is first you have to start with the one's place always this is also three digit number six one zero two hundred and forty three six one zero means six hundred and ten and second number is two hundred and forty three first you start with ones so i'm going to subtract with ones okay that means ones it is not a regrouping i'm just highlighting that's it so okay so zero minus three is not zero is not enough to subtract so you have to borrow from one so one ten i have to borrow so that this zero that means one space what is the number zero ones so this zero one become what ten ones so now ten is a greater number and three is a smaller number now it is you can what no problem to subtract so start doing backward counting after three four five six seven eight nine ten that is seven you have to write seven so what is the number in the tens place one because i have borrowed here one tens so what i have i have taken from this one ten, I've taken one ten. So what becomes zero ten? So zero is not enough to subtract. So I have to borrow from hundred place. So I have to borrow one hundred plus from uh, one hundred. I have to borrow from one hundred. So this six hundred. So if I borrow one hundred from six hundred, this six hundred become five hundred. That is six. I have to borrow from one from this six. This six become five. So this zero will become what ten. Then zero will become 10 that means 10 tens now 10 minus 4 so 10 now 10 is a first it is a 0 so if i borrow from 1 so this 0 become 10 this 0 become 10 so now this 10 is a greater than 4 now you can subtract because greater number to smaller number so start doing backward counting again after 4 that is 5 6 7 8 9 10 
So what is the number? 6. You have to write 6. Write the 6 as it is. Okay. Now what is the number in 100 place? 5. So 5 minus 2. So start doing the backward counting after 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 3. What is the answer? 367. This is the exact answer. Okay. So what are you going to do? You have to write the answer. You have to write the answer in the top of the place. That means first place. So, answer you have written on the top and second number as it, is, as it is you must write in second place. Now, you have to add both numbers if you get the question. That means 610 if you get your answer is exactly right. So, you are what, doing addition. So, once place what is the number? 7 plus 3. So, adding 7 in the mind. What is this? 7 in the mind after 7 in the mind and 3 in the finger after 7, 8, 9, 10. So, what? 0. And 1 is in the top is carry over 6 plus 1 7 and 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 means 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11, 1 have to write it here. So this carry over is go to the 100 place. So 3 plus 1 4, 4 plus 2 5, 6. So 610. This question, this 610, this question you can get it. So your answer that is 367, 367. This is the whatever the answer that means what the answer is 367 you can get this answer this is the subtraction from 610 to 243 you subtract the answer you get what the answer you get it 367 so you have to write it on the top then you have to write the second number then you have to add both you can get the question that is 610 again you can get it so that's 367 this is the right answer whatever you find okay 360 is the right answer for the what question. I think so you understand the checking subtraction with addition method.